So now that these uh, two matrix driver boards have been soldered, we're going to move on to working with the control board. So for this part, we'll need the control board. We'll need the two C-cell battery packs. We'll need the power switch. And we'll need around four feet of uh, the uh, red, black wire. So you'll need to cut off about four feet of this stuff. So to start, we're going to solder our wires to this switch. So what you need to do is first, first we're going to tin the out, one of the outer pins. and then the inner pin. And now what we're going to do is from the one of the battery packs we're going to solder a black lead to one of these pins. So we have one battery pack. We're going to put this battery pack aside and we're going to solder the red one from the other battery pack. I've also posted diagrams so you can use those too. So we have our battery uh, pack almost done. So what we're going to do is we're going to solder these two wires to the long pieces of red and black wire. So to do that, we're going to strip off some insulation off of the thick wire, the red and black one, and we're going to tin these. And then we're going to go ahead and solder the red wire to the red wire. and a black wire to the black wire. And now we're going to take a little piece of electrical tape. I'm going to wrap the red part that we soldered. And we're going to so uh, wrap the black part that we soldered, the black wire. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the other end of this wire. We're going to strip and tin these two contacts. Now we're going to take the red wire and solder it to the V in here. And then we're going to take the black and solder it to the GND up here. Make sure you follow this step correctly because if you don't uh, connect the black to bl black to ground and uh, V into red, you're gonna have a lot of problems. This uh, chip will no longer work, and you'll have a whole lot of problems. Make sure you have this connected correctly. We're going to go ahead and put our six C cells inside the battery packs. I have rechargeables. And if you flip the switch, the LEDs on the uh, control board should light up. This is the power LED, and that's the mode LED. If you press this button, this uh, light should blink. See that? So that means that this whole board is working correctly um, and we're ready to solder the uh, matrix drivers to this. So we're going to go ahead and shut this off. And make sure to keep uh, that switch turned off while you're soldering the uh, matrix drivers to this because if you don't, you might have some problems. So we're going to go ahead and start soldering the uh, matrix drivers to the control board. So here we have the matrix, here we have the left control board, this is the left side, this is connected to this side. And we have the right control board. So basically we're going to connect these two uh, PCBs to this one. And we're going to connect this board to these contacts here. This is the left one, so left to left, and then the right one over here to the right one right here. So you'll notice over here we have 
We have V plus, V minus A, B, C, D. We also have here V plus, V minus D, C, B, A. So basically we need to connect these to this. Um, and I guess that should be pretty self-explanatory. You could also follow the diagrams, it's uh, pretty easy. And we're going to take about a foot section of the red and black thick wire to connect uh, the power. So the power travels through these two pads here to these two pads here. So you want to connect V plus to V plus with this wire. So typically you want to stick with red for positive and black for negative connections. So I'm going to go ahead and tin these wires and then solder them between here. So I went ahead and connected the uh, V plus to the V plus and the V minus to the V minus and I'm going to go ahead and connect the data lines which are A, B, C, and D. So I have, I'm going to use the gray wire that came with the kit to make these connections and I have four wires here and I'm going to go ahead and solder this to there. And make sure to follow A, B, C, and D all the way through to here. So I went ahead and connected the left matrix drive board to this left side here. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is flip the switch to turn everything on. And everything should work like this. So you'll see a quick little boot up, boot up message. And then this uh, mode LED will uh, turn off after the boot up message is done scrolling across. So we know that uh, this board is working properly and this board, board is working properly because we see uh, the patterns go across. So now we're going to go ahead and connect the right side over here. And it's much the same way uh, as we connected uh, the left side. Just make sure you connect the right side to this part here. So again remember to turn everything off and proceed to soldering the right side. So now that we've went ahead and soldered the right matrix to uh, the control board, we're going to go ahead and flip over the matrix. So now that we went ahead and soldered the right uh, matrix driver to the uh, control board over here, we're ready to test out the whole system. So what I'm going to do is flip the whole matrix over, careful not to damage any of these connections because they are kind of fragile. And we're going to take the battery pack, we're going to flip the switch on, and you should see this boot up message, and then the matrix should start showing all the different uh, animations. And there are 34 of them, including the demo mode. And demo mode shows all the animations one by one, and keeps looping them. And that's all the modes that there are. So what we're going to go ahead and do is turn on the test mode that uh, lights up all the LEDs in sequence to make sure that we've soldered all the LEDs properly. And I can tell right now that some of these LEDs aren't lighting up as they should. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is flip off the power. I'm going to press and hold the mode select button. And I'm going to flip on the power. And we should see a pattern of uh, red going all the way up then green, and then red, then green. If you did not see this pattern exactly, you have problems with the wiring in your uh, LED matrix. So if it's, uh, if they're out, if um, the matrix turn on turns on out of sequence, like for instance, it goes like this, and then this, and then this, and then that, 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 that means we have some connections switched. So the uh, side wires connect the matrix this way, so if you have a problem with one of these two sections switched, it's probably these wires. Likewise, if you have a problem uh, with these uh, rows turning on out of order, you have a problem with one of the uh, wires here and there that go this way. Anyways, so here's the, uh, the matrix test mode that uh, just turns on every LED and makes it easy to debug any problems. So what you do is you press the mode select button, and flip on the switch. And looks like 
that. The red's okay. And then the green. Oh, this uh, turned on out of sync. This green LED doesn't work. And let's see here. Oh, that looks like that's the only problem in my case. Your case might vary in that a lot of different things might be wrong. So let's see that again. So the red LEDs look like they're okay. <clears throat> but the green LEDs, somewhere over here, it turns on out of order. Aha, there we go. This, these two are swapped. So the green, um, the green uh, wire uh, is swapped on these two. So let's try that again. It looks like the red is okay, but the green is not. So let's see which one these are. Okay, it looks like there's a problem between these two uh, wires. So I'm going to go and see what the heck the problem is. Also, this LED isn't lighting up, but I think that's just a connection to the uh, one of the sections over here. So the reason that uh, that row was misbehaving is because there was a little bridge between these two uh, wires down here. You guys probably can't tell, but there's a little tiny wire that was hanging off of here. I might have just snipped that off right there, but anyway, these two were uh, bridged, and that was causing that uh, row to misbehave. And it looks like we have another problem down here, which is probably just another bad solder joint. So we're going to go ahead and try to pinpoint the problem with the section over here. So this section needs to be slightly resoldered. So it looks like all these LEDs work. So we're going to move on to uh, reinforcing the connections between all the uh, various components.